I'll be taking up a question from final online mirror round of Bubble Cup 14. It was the J question of the contest and name of the question is Robot Factory. So in the problem statement, we are given a, a factory which is in the shape of a rectangle and has a size of N into M. So we have N into M tiles in the factory and each tile contains a number in it. The number when represented in a binary form tells us the direction in which we have a wall. So if we have one at, at the first position, we will have a wall at uh, in the north direction. In the second position we have, uh, if we have one, then we have a wall in east direction and uh, so on. You can read the problem statement for better understanding. So. We need to find the size of the rooms in the factory. Now, we can move from one tile to another if we do not have a wall in that particular direction. So we need to find the size of each rooms with the help of the given numbers. So I'll try to explain you with this. See, in this example, this was the first test case of uh, of the, it was the first test case of the question. So, see, in this case, we do not have a wall in, in two directions, which is uh, east and south, okay? So, we do not have a wall in east and south direction. So, these can be merged to form a room. So, similarly, these all will get merged to form one room of size 9. This will merge to form one room of size 4. Similarly, this will merge to form one more room of size 4. This has a size of 2 and this one 1. So the answer was 94421. We have to print the answer in descending order. Okay. So now I'll try to code it. We'll use DFS for the same. So we can form an array for taking the input. It is the size, so it is 1005. We can take. Similarly, we'll form a visited array. This will be this will contain the size of each rooms. So we'll take the input. Now we'll DFS through the uh, through through the graph which is formed and uh, find the size of the rooms. Now if visited of IJ, if we have not visited IJ, then we'll DFS. We'll give the sizes and the current position. Also, we'll form an, a vector to store the size of each of the rooms. So now I'll write the DFS function. Now if we go out of the graph, we'll return or if uh, we have visit we have already visited a, a tile, then also we'll return. In all the other cases, we'll make visited of ij equals to 1, we'll increase the size of the room and 
will convert uh, the particular number that we are currently into binary form so this is my function i have already written it it's the so we'll convert it now if s of 0 is equal to 0 which means we do not have a wall in north direction so we'll we can move uh, so okay we can move in north direction okay so n m i minus 1 and j now if uh, we have s of 1 e equals to equals to 0 in this case we will move in so in this case we will move in east direction so in east direction we will move east to j plus 1 now if s of 2 is equal to equal to 0 in this case we'll move in south direction okay then if s of 3 is 0 we'll move in west direction Now we'll sort the vector. In decreasing order. And we'll print it. So I'll try to run the code on the sample inputs. So it's working fine. So I'll try to submit the code. Okay, so the code is accepted.